Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So I've gave her a little bit of thought. And this is going to be the last episode in the series. Basically, it's not going to be the last CK3 series that I do. Not by any means. However, I feel as though I need to come to terms with the game a little bit more before I actually do another attempt to play series. Just get used to the way succession works and things like that. So, this will be the last episode in this Irish... Irish, should we say, King of Ireland, High King of Ireland series. And we have actually achieved High King of Ireland with King Mershad the second. Oh, no, he's actually King Mershad the first. Yeah. Yes, he's King Mesh at the first. Okay, so we've got powerful vassals that expect council positions. He's actually a very good diplomat. He's got okay marshal. He's actually got better marshal than Finn. So let's let's have a look at this, right? So let's change a few things around. Let's sort what we need to sort. Well, Don Mal wants to be. Yeah, okay. Let's let's let him. Let's let him contribute there. And then, as it stands, none of the other vassals have anything to offer. So they can continue to hate me, it's fine. So we have a few knights, we can actually have another knight. So if we invite knights to our court, it'll cost prestige, but knights are very powerful. We can declare war, we can declare war on King Robert Kate House of England, who has a massively superior force. And we can declare on the petty king of Leinster. So we can actually enforce our claims, or we can just siege, siege the De Jure County. Really, we should be able to, let's see, get Eildon with Athlon, Bishopric of Uzenek. Yeah, okay, but I thought, oh, we can change the objective. We can go to the Eildon of Leinster, the Eildon of Ossery. Okay, yeah, so we can actually can actually go to war with them over various things. That's that's good stuff there. We hold too many duchies. So that means vassals don't like us, okay. Don't like us as much as they would if we gave them away. And we can imprison Mer Un Una. Doesn't like us. She likes the fact we're distinguished. And that we're forgiven. We can adopt, like, elective sub succession, but let's not do that. I don't want to have to deal with that, even though this is the last episode in the series. So I think we'll just we'll just be a bit, like, war-happy now. We'll just go to war with... Well, I wonder if we can ask him to be our vassal, let's see. Enforce vassalage, no. The total is minus 10, it's just base reluctance, he does like us. Let's see if we can sway him to, to where he would actually join us. We can't send him a gift because we haven't got 150 gold to give him. Okay. So hopefully we can peacefully integrate him because we are a diplomatic character. And it makes more sense to peacefully vassalize people. So... One thing I'm also considering in terms of like future campaigns is to play a more roleplay heavy campaign. Oh wow, sorry. I felt like I needed to sneeze. Yeah, so um play like a more roleplay heavy campaign where we like take take it a bit slower, you know, focus on decisions the way the character themselves would and possibly have a few little voiceovers as well, but that's something that I'll need to put a lot of thought into. But I do think it'll be a lot of fun for me to produce. Okay, so we've got High Queen Clara pregnant. I'm looking at this, the... The, um... Is it an Eildon? But it's the Ivor Ring family, and I, I kind of... Because I've got a massive love for, like, Vikings in general. It's Norse mythology and... And the old Scandinavian culture. I, I want I want these to survive, but it doesn't look like they will. So we've got an available perk in the lifestyle trait. Let's take Confidant. The following faction that targeted you has disbanded. Lovely. 
I'm assuming that's because people now like us. So he is on plus 29 with us. We haven't managed to sway him at all yet. It's on minus 11. So difference in military strength is actually... So we should probably recruit more men at arms. I think that'd be good. So we have a daughter who's beautiful, brilliant. We'll name her Mencia after our mother. And then we shall invest in military. So if we create some armoured footmen, well, pikemen maybe, armoured footmen. Let's see what has the... I think armoured footmen actually have the best combat ability, don't they? The best damage and toughness. No, pikemen have good damage and toughness as well. But we'll recruit some heavy infantry. And we are getting a fair bit of money. It would be nice if we were getting more, but that's not the case. However, while we still haven't diplo vassalized this guy, we could actually, let's see if he would accept. Remember the book? But he will actually accept us stripping him of the earldom of Brief or Isla. Okay, so let's take that for ourselves. Thank you. You don't like us at all, but I don't think you liked us anyway. Oh, no, he did. He did. Okay. Now, I wonder if we can revoke this title from him. No. We can't actually... Okay. What about from this guy? We could revoke from him. 54% chance that he'll exist. If not, it'll be full-scale war. So I think maybe, maybe we should go back to him and revoke another title. So he will not accept, he will definitely go to war. Okay, let's see if we rogue the title off him. 54% chance, let's get lucky. Yep, yeah. the Aurelian claim on the Eldom of Holster has ended. High King Mershad no longer controls any of the claimed counties. The Aurelian claim... What? I, I don't... I do control... I'm confused. I'm very confused. Okay, so we got a 14 diplomat now. The better one got kicked out of our court because we take him... We take in his province. However... It's okay. Yeah, I think the next series I do, I'll actually play a more, I'll have a more tyrannical approach to the game. I won't, I'll play as like a count with really high martial and just focus on Warren and becoming ridiculously powerful. So let's see if we can revoke his title now. We maybe, uh, don't know what happened to the video then I ex exited the game. I seem to do that quite a lot. Okay, so we will lose a the opinion of us for 10 years the control level will drop he will not accept it so it may cause a war between he's got 672 troops he's got 26 neither neither one of them have allies so he, he, he more than likely will join so what we'll do is we'll change the rally point We'll change the rally point to here, actually. Yeah, so, protected against factions, we we want lower crown authority. That's that's completely fine. He can attempt that. Okay, let's revoke his title. He will declare war. That's fine. Raise all our armies. So it is. He will go and siege down, but we are already there, so we should have a good level of progress before. And didn't we build? No, we didn't build anything there. Okay, so we're at 200. So they may actually siege that down before we finish. So we're on 120, they're on 64. Okay, hopefully, hopefully we can siege that down before they finish. I think we will do. Mm, there's 25 left. They've got to No, they'll actually finish that siege before we did, okay. But us taking this bishopric, that'll give us a positive war score. We'll go and take out their army now. 
Okay, so we've got eight issues. We've lost our marshal because he's in open rebellion. Okay, so we'll recruit this one to our court. It only costs 15. And our spy master, I'm assuming she died. Maybe we should just recruit him to court. He does like us. Good spy master should always like you, like you personally, otherwise that's dangerous. Been designated guardian, can vassalize petty king Donchad. I'm assuming that's Donchad. Yeah, that's Donchad. Okay, we'll vassalize him after this war. Let's see if we can catch if we can. We can catch them yet. Okay, let's retake our land. So we got a plus 13% war score. Shouldn't take too long now. Take this gold and make sure you're heard. Yeah, that sounds good. So we have nearly reclaimed our land. They've nearly sieged down that already though. That was fast. They've got 53 left. We have 30 odd. Okay, let's march. We're on plus 61%. Let's march the Kanak. Let's take their land now. They're going to take Ilek from us, but let's take their land from them. So flatter it. Let's take that. Let's try and get down to Patriarch, which would give us fertility and stress loss, amongst other things. Okay. So we are now taking this down. It'll take us a long time to do because of the nature of the fort there. Because the fort provides defensive bonuses. So let's take out their army instead. Okay, so we've had another daughter. She doesn't have any congenital traits, so let's go with a good Irish name. She isn't anything special, I guess. It's a horrible thing to say about a daughter of a, of a high king, but, you know, it's true. She's not special. So Mayor Sigurd becomes our friend. Yeah, let's just make him our friend. Let's march over to connect again and start sieging it down. They've only got 218 troops. They shouldn't be able to siege us down at all now. I don't think. They may be able to. No, they, they won't. They can't. That's good stuff. We are still a plus 60% even though they control one of our baronies. Okay, so it's taken us a while to get this siege because they've actually built it. What's the building itself? I did know this. It's the the Bailey, that's it. Clara comes of age. Okay, let's get her married. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Here she is. She's comely. Holy warrior. Skilled tactician. Arrogant, compassionate, and content. She's got okay martial. Okay learning. Got a matrilineal lang uh, language, I was going to say. A matrilineal marriage. Inheritable traits. Let's see if we've got a genius. Or there's a Herculean. Let's get a Herculean. Chance of children is medium, but let's get that into our genes. Yep, yeah, they will get married. Yep, yeah, so that's 100% of the war finished, and we should actually imprison them. We imprisoned one of them. No, we imprisoned both. Okay, so we'll revoke his title. Good stuff. And then the other guy, this guy, he can stay in prison. In in prison, he can't rebel against us. So Don Chad likes us. He won't accept vacillation now. Why is that? We can ransom Earl Egan for 50 gold. Don't need to. Too many old duchies, you can yeah. In line to inherit titles, okay. Children like guardians. Let's us educate them. And let's also go with Kale Wolf. Got low control in four counties. We should increase our opinion with male of breed. And I think we should invest in our military again. So if we... So now if we recruit... See, horsemen do pursuit damage. So maybe we should get some... No, they take reductions in wetlands and stuff. So if we take some life footmen... And then take, wait a few months and take some pavement. Earl Egan. Decline. Let's see if we can offer vassalage. You will accept now. Mm. 
Okay, so we now own all of Ireland except Dublin. Dublin, which is owned by King Robert, who is vastly superior to us. He has allies, both King Sancho of Castile and Count Berthgalt of Rene. He is a powerful enemy. Would be a useful friend. Okay, so it looks like... It looks like, what's the guy's name who owns Le Leon? Let's see, he should be in siblings here. King Sancho, no, is it? Yeah, it's his siblings. Fernando was the parent. Yeah, it looks like Alfonso. Is he dead? He is, he died in battle, okay. So we now own all of Ireland except Dublin. So, because this series has come to an end, yeah, I feel like that's a good place to leave this episode and the series. But as I said, it's no, it's by no means the last series of CK3 that I will be doing. I feel as though it's just better for me to get more used to the game behind the scenes so it can provide better content, more informative content. Um, like I said, we'll probably approach future series with a more roleplay kind of approach. So, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more CK3 in the near future. If you didn't like this video, feel free to leave a dislike. But if you do that, then please just leave some constructive criticism. Just so I know I can provide more quality content for you. Alternatively, if you did enjoy this video, it'd be a massive help to the channel. And I'd really appreciate it if you left a like, comment and subscribe. Any combination of those three. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.